Hey everybody and welcome. Mary and the Inappropriate Artist here. And I took a lot of B-roll on this one big driving day in Washington. My friend took me on a tour. We went up and down Mount Baker, which is what you are seeing here. Um, and to Whatcom Falls in Bellingham, which you'll see shortly. It was quite a gift getting to be the passenger for a change and pretty trippy to be hot with all the snow on the ground. Kind of a new experience for me, for sure. I feel as though I got a real gift seeing this place as I would not have had the gas money to go up this mountain. So truly grateful to my friend Jesse for taking me on this epic one day journey. <laughs> I truly fell in love with the Washington landscape from this vantage point. Oh, just the colors were phenomenal. And I was gifted with truly unusually clear weather the whole month of July that I was in the state of Washington. Truly kind of amazing um, and incredibly unusual from what I am told. Wow, look at that, it's on the side of the road. Woohoo! Cool. And this, we're just right here, coming down from Mount Baker, snow ski area or something? Night the ski area. So here we are, this is the path down, haven't got there yet, but we're at this place called Watcom Falls in downtown Bellingham, Washington. Look at these beautiful trees. Oh. Oh. Wow, look at this bridge. Ooh. Wow, it's so cool. Oh. oh. Oh, well, this is an easy get. Wow. There's people fishing, and there's people swimming, and there's like a little swimming hole up top, it looks like. Yeah, what a great spot, right in the middle of downtown. Talk about a water slide. Yeah, well, no, I'm pretty gonna... sure that's not a water slide, but we think that has to do with like the salmon hatchery or something, maybe? But what, what what were you gonna say? Oh, they've got a green thing across. The oh bottom yeah, it does. Sure oh, slide. maybe that's how they release them. No, I think that's how they make sure people don't slide down. Oh, it. don't slide <laughs> down it. Okay. That is pretty tempting. But how cool would that be? Wouldn't that be awesome if it was? Yeah. What? Wow. How neat. Look at the bridge from here, it's so beautiful. See the swimming hole, it's just so cool. We're gonna try to go check out those falls. This is the top of the falls, it's called Pixie Falls. Yeah, thank you. Nice one for the camera. Now it's time to leave the marina. I feel refreshed. You know, like more put together again and my head is more together again and it was good to get out of the van. Um, kind of a bummer that the clouds finally started to show up so I could get some good sunset pictures, but well, oh well. <laughs> Next time, next time. Um, so now I am headed to Bellingham where I'm meeting up with somebody I met at the wedding 
and made friends with because as I said I made a made a lot of really great friends at that wedding um and so I'm gonna go connect with them we're gonna go have crepes look at those clouds see what I'm talking about Bama. oh well next time I was having crepes with my friend Sky and then we were walking around and we stopped at the van we we're just talking outside and whatever and this lovely person stopped and they had three beautiful dogs with them and uh, we were chit chatting and they also are fan dwellers it turns out so I was talking about not knowing where to camp and they said I know a bunch of spots let me show you so now I am following them and I'm so excited this is awesome and uh, I already am loving Bellingham, Washington, just all over. <laughs> so you guys see, it's just a cute little town. Lots of trees, lots of shade, which has made me feel good about parking with Nugget, right? And we had a beautiful spot, plus it was nice and cool where we were. And now we're heading someplace else. I'm so excited. The third planet. I don't even know what that is, but it's cool. Look at this outdoor restaurant. Oh. Wow. We're headed to the beach, I believe. We are headed to the beach. Seriously, I'm loving it. <gasps> Little tutor. Well, you still. Holy crap, holy. All right, that one was really cool, and I wish I could have shown you. But it was a really cool painted Victorian, and I might have to come back to it to show you because it was really cool. Oh, looky, 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 looky at my favorite house on the block. Oh, she gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I did a thing today. I busked in downtown Bellingham on the street corner, and I made 22 bucks. So I can put gas in the gas tank. I'm very excited. Um, I met somebody who gave me the ins and outs. Um, there's so many cities that you go to where you have to have permits. And you're only allowed to play in certain areas of the city. And there's just a lot of rules. And it's really hard when you're passing through quickly to find out what those rules are. I did a, you know, a fairly short set. You know, I played like five songs on one corner and three songs on the other corner. And I made 22 bucks, and my hand was pooped, and I was done. And my friends, uh, and I, you know, took off. And we are, we're now, they're at work. I'm in the back of the parking lot where they work, hanging out with Nugget. She's, uh, the door is open here so she can hang out outside. And um, we're kind of not in full, we're in full sun, but, like, I can paint the, uh, point the windows at, like, greenery because there's a beautiful tree line in front of me so it keeps the van cooler because it's not reflecting uh, hot light or off cement <laughs> heat off the cement there we go oh sorry guys I know that's such a terrible angle anyway that's my update for today so downtown Bellingham I got to play you saw my favorite painted lady that freaking Victorian is so sweet. Insane. I, yeah, if I, if a house was a soul sister. That, that house was my soul sister. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I'm really excited about that. I am going to try to be, uh, so I'm going down to meet up with people in the Seattle area. It's what I need the gas money for. So I can get down there. Um, and I, my new friend, who's been awesome, was telling me that if I busk with paintings in the guitar case, um, so if I'm more organized, um, now that I sort of kind of know a little bit. Um, but anyway... Yeah, that's what I did today. And my friend works at the restaurant. And it's been cool. He brought me a really amazing soup that I just ate some of. And it was really good. And I'm about to eat the other one. Um, and then when they get off work tonight, they're going to bring me malt food. I just said, I eat meat. No fish. And um, 
light on the, you know, nightshade veggies for the sake of my joints. <laughs> um, we went mud walking today and mud walking yesterday, but today, like, I went and I mud walked and then I laid down in it. In the mud flats, like with the water, where it's like really warm. So awesome. And then as the tide started to come in, it comes in fast, like the cold water, you feel it. It's like suddenly it was like whoosh, and there it was. And I was like, whoa, okay, I think the tide's coming in. Um, but it felt amazing. Um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. And, you know, it's really cool. So after I go down to Linden and stuff, Linden and uh, Kenmore, I believe, I'm going to. And then I, I'm meeting with three different people over at least the course of two days. I think I want to be back up here for Friday. I mean, Friday, I don't, I think I'm going to miss Friday night, but I might be able to get Saturday because my new friend said I should set up and play with my art in the case on Saturday for the farmer's market because that's when it's really busy. And people around here really support artists and musicians. It's like, wow, cool. And I felt the proof of that today when one person threw $20 in my case. Well, I was, uh, I was, uh, singing Dreams by Slayton Mac, one of my favorite songs. And, um, that was really freaking cool. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see. I'm going to try again. I think I'm going to try again tomorrow to just play guitar again for a little bit and see how my hand does. I mean, it's really mm, right now, but, um, we'll see. As soon as I got back to the van, I grabbed an ice cube and kind of gave like, especially this part of my hand. Um, I kind of held onto the ice cube for a little bit, not too long because I don't want to trigger other problems, but, um, it does help if I quickly do that to just kind of halt the heat, the, the, the fire that is coming out of my joints. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it was relieving, um, to do that right away. The benefits of having a cooler <laughs> for your food. Um, Nugget is, might have had her fill of outside. I don't know. Um, but my friend doesn't get off work till like probably really late, like close to midnight. So I'm going to go to bed early so I can sleep for a while. Cause I always wake up in the middle of the night anyway, and I'm awake for a ridiculous amount of time. Um, hello, menopause and neurodivergence mixed together. Woo -woo. So I get this like window between around like, two and four or five where I'm like wide awake. So I, and then I want to go back to sleep. So I tried to feed Nugget before I go back to sleep so she doesn't annoy me. Um, to feed her. Otherwise, she'll act like she's dying. She'll destroy the interior of the van while she's begging for me to get out of bed and feed her. Making holes in my window. Clawing the top of this drawer. And then my all-time favorite is when I have my window cover up in the front and she pulls it down so that everybody can see what's going on in the van. This isn't such a big deal when I'm out in the woods or out in BLM or someplace, you know, right where I'm okay to be, but if I'm stealth camping, she makes it almost impossible. Anyway, you know, like truck stops is where it's really, I don't want her pulling that shit down. Um, if it's blazing hot out, I don't want her, although in the morning it's usually not. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I digress. That was going on today. So tomorrow I'm gonna try busking again, I think. We'll see. So my friend just brought this out for me. It's a chicken quesadilla and it wasn't supposed to be and it was a mistake. So I'm like, oh my God, this is so awesome. I love chicken quesadilla. Somebody else made it for me. This makes me so freaking happy.
Dude, if I don't gain some weight over the next couple of days, I will really be surprised. I, 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 and I do want that, by the way. I'm always looking to put some weight on because I lose it so fast that I'm always just trying to get what I can on my body. So the light really sucks because it's the middle of the night and I got woken up again by somebody knocking. I am not coming back to the city. I don't know. I am I have to go to Seattle to meet with friends this week and I'm like so dreading it. I don't know how I'm going to survive this week. All of this moving around and the gas because I have to move all the time. Um, yeah, so Bellingham, I guess as much as I was really loving you, I got to go because this ain't going to work. I can't. I guess I got the images I'm going to get, and I just got to get out. Headed into Fred Meyer's after that rough night. Um, I still have to make a list, finish my coffee here, and not feeling good. I'm doing my best today. I just have... You know the expression, or if you don't, those of us who struggle with executive function understand the spoon theory. How many spoons do I have today? Maybe a half of one. That's where I am today. I'm at about a half a spoon. So wish me luck. The plans have changed. I know. Big mess. Always. If you're new, just... This is van life. This is a real one. I didn't have some fancy build. This is just... Yeah. So, I have been hanging out at this hatchery in town. Um, uh, one of my new friends showed me where it is. And introduced me to another van lifer in the area. So I'm meeting all of the local van lifers, which is really awesome. Because they're helping me with knowing where to go during the day and where to park at night. And yes, all of this moving around has been really, really stressful. Um... Last night was not the norm, and it's not going to be. Um, so, I've been <clears throat> um, really well informed now. And I feel confident to stay through the weekend, at least for this farmer's market, because I've been told I can. Um, my friend has a booth they're going to set up. They said I could put art at the booth. They think that I will do very well at the farmer's market, especially since the weather has been so nice. Um, cause a lot of people come out for it. Plus I could busk. So if my hands are up for it, I could, you know, open my guitar case and play. So we'll see. Um, there's a thing called the soap box that's near the farmer's market. So that might be what I set up on. If it's not already taken, uh, maybe someone will give me a few tunes um, to set up and play. You know, like, I don't know how they work, whether they do rotation or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, so, I don't know how it works. I'm going to find out. Um, I'm really excited because this friend of mine has been helping me by accompanying me. Not just, okay, so part of the difficulty I have is people will just, tell me what to do, which is all well and good, except that my ability to interact with strangers in group, in large numbers, has gotten more and more difficult. And the anxiety comes, and then I just don't do it. Um, it's been a real issue, this loop, um, dealing with the on again, off again, agoraphobia. I'm having a really hard time getting outside the vehicle. Another reason why I've decided to stick around here for the weekend. The people here are getting me out of the van. 
They're showing me amazing shady spots where I can park and keep Nugget safe. And then walk around. So, like the other day, I went mud walking. And I know, I haven't been filming a lot. I mean, I've been filming some, but not at all. Um, partly because I'm, you know, part of this is just some of it I need to have just for me. Um, it's a really important thing that I promised myself this time around. Um, and, uh, yeah, so when I w was going mud walking, for me, that was about a spiritual experience. And I didn't want the phone with me because that meant I'm working, not practicing self-care. So, I couldn't have it with me for the experience. Um, right? Because for me, it's a grounding thing. And this other van lifer I just met is also a painter, an artist. We just had a really great conversation. And by that, I mean... It had great give and take. It was fantastically tangential and found its way full circle. Um, and really great ideas. The guy's a solar, like, he knows his stuff. Um, he's offered to help me with some things if there are things that come about while I'm here. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen this weekend? I don't. And I'm willing to be open to it. If me being here for a period of time means I can make some money with my artwork, then, and if it means also sparking me back up again and getting me out of this blockage, I want to be open. I, Bellingham, Washington was a whisper in my ear when I was a junior in high school. I was going to apply to Western Washington University here in Bellingham. I ended up not doing it because I was afraid of going too far away from my family. There was a part of me that knew if I went west, I wasn't going back east. Um, in this way that I am traveling now, um, yes, east is something I will be doing again. But it will only be for visits. It's not to live. I, I definitely love living out in the West much better. Um, it's more my speed. Um, and I'm welcome to be, uh, for the most part, at least, you know, I mean, in the most places where I hang out, right? Like, once I get this project finished, I mean, you know, it's a 10-year project. I'm four years in. There's time. But, I mean... I always think about that. I'm like, the box truck is supposed to be for the rest of this journey and then my house. Look at the color of it. Isn't that wild? Look how bright it is. So it was explained to me that it lightens in color to save water. Um, and it's a normal thing to happen during this time of the year when they don't get so much rain here in the coastal areas of Washington. But look at it. He's so floofy looking. He's just so floofy and so pretty. Look at that beautiful chartreuse. <gasps> okay, I just like that word, whether or not that's actually a true chartreuse or not, but I just like to say chartreuse. So, they're very cool. Let me have that. Let me have that. I'm going to just decide that that's what color that is. Plus, with my sunglasses on, that's what it always looks like. So, I'm going to now turn the camera around and show you what the view is from up here. And you'll see my van below. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. And the person I met today was telling me that in the wintertime, when the leaves are off the trees, you get a great view of the creek. And the van is down there behind that other van. The live music is downtown, and I'm not far from downtown, but I'm closer, I don't know, I'm just on the other side of it, but um, the music travels, so they've got live music going on outside, so cool. Kind of a cool place to hang out for the day, process, recover from last night.
Um, I did some peaceful stuff. I met some new. I met another new person today. I met, actually met a bunch of new people today. Right? Mm. Dang! One of my friends said, "Wow, you make friends so easily. You make friends everywhere you go." They said. Yeah, but it's also a thing for me, like, I need to make a connection. So I have this thing called object permanence, right? And I find when I can really connect with people where I am, I tend to remember my time there better. It stays with me better. So that's a little thing I'm learning for myself that works. <laughs> So I'm in Bellingham, and I have met a couple of really cool people, right? Um, one of which has been helping me, like, get out of my shell and get out and busk, right? And the other one has invited me to park behind them. They have security cameras and stuff, and they kind of keep an eye on the block. So um, they're, like, a cool person to be in with. And I'll tell you what. I haven't slept so good in the city in a really long time. I didn't realize how good it would feel to have, to know that there's eyes on the van while I'm sleeping. Told me it was cool to come up and park and come and have some pulled park in Linguini. So let me show you. Holy crap. Look at that. It's like, dang. He's like, there's more. You can have, <laughs> dude. This is solid. This is going to fill me right up and be so good. I'm so excited. So I'm going to eat this. Nugget is on her harness. She loves being able to go in and out here. I have the doors tented. So she can hop in and out at her whim. She has her lead on. And this is like there's very little traffic that comes up and down this road. So it's so awesome. All right. I'm going to eat. What is it? What are you seeing? You see something interesting? See, I have the doors like that. Bunch of cords kind of hold them. So she can see out and go in and out. Right? Say hi, everybody. Hi. Today's another busking day. And I'm going downtown again to... Try to sell some art and play some music if my hands are up to it. And uh, this time I made a list of songs so I wouldn't have to think about what to do next. Um, yeah. And I'm going to go take advantage of a shower service that the town offers. So behind City Hall, I guess. One of my friends just informed me about it yesterday and they said it's on the weekends. So going down there today um, to take advantage of that. So, I'm armed. So there's the van, and I set up on the other side of these trees today to play, and I had my art out. Got a dollar, at least, for busking. Um, nobody really stopped to look at the art very much, but I did have one couple stop and say they'd follow me on YouTube, so I will take that. 
Thank you very much. Um, but I parked, ne I parked, I set up next to this guy, by the way, had a conversation, turns out from Stonington, Connecticut, what, how do we find each other on a totally different coast? Anyway, Connecticut's just the teeniest little place and it's so rare that I meet other people from it. Um, right? Like, so anyway, he also obsessed with wood. So if you know me, you know, I was a picture framer for many, many moons and I have a thing for wood. So, look at this. Could be anything, piece of wood. Isn't that gorgeous? Just look. How pretty. Oh my God, George Hendricks, if you're watching this, right? Isn't she pretty? I know you'd appreciate it. Wow. Ooh, he also had this gorgeous table that has, I, I don't know if I'm going to get a shot of it or not. I don't know. Well, we'll see for the films earlier today. Um, it's a really cool table. And the best suggestion all day was to put a moss garden in the middle of it. And I was like, oh, yes. Gorgeous. But these are so pretty. So, yeah, I just thought it was fun. Set up next to somebody else from Connecticut. Didn't even know they were from Connecticut until we sat down and started chit chatting. And, uh, yeah. So, I played, and I played my whole set. And that's about 38 minutes. So it's pretty good for me. Um, I did take little breaks in between. I did part of it sitting, part of it standing. Um, like I said, one dollar. That's what I got. I wasn't willing to get closer to the center because there was a whole bunch of other musicians there that were local and I really didn't want to be like an ass. I don't know. I feel weird shoving myself in when I'm the newbie in town um, and I'm really just passing through. So there's that too. So I don't know. I struggle with this. This is not, I'm so much better at selling other people's shit. I can sell other people's shit. Oh, selling my own. In person. I mean, dang, this is one thing, but in person is a whole another. So very cool today. Um, a friend I met in Quartzsite <clears throat> is here with family visiting and um, they messaged me and we're like let's meet up at the park so awesome so we had a couple hours of just some good chill time it was pretty cool um, and it was nice to like get that female nomad energy and like reconnect with that and also just another super spicy friend you know, and, um, yeah, just really cool. It feels good. Like it, it's so grounding when I'm in a, um, a new place to run into people that I know from other places. Yeah. It's very cool. It's very grounding. I've also had this really awesome response. I posted, so the friend that I was setting up with, um, when I busked the other day, um, did a video of me, right? And I posted it, um, on TikTok and I posted a reel on Facebook and people were putting money in the hat on Facebook. I thought that was the coolest thing. I was so grateful cause I, you know, I didn't realize and I didn't think about putting up, um, like I need to go to the library and print out a, um, QR code for my Venmo um, that people prefer to pay that way. <clears throat> so I'm on that. Um, I don't think they're open tomorrow. I don't know. I should check the hours. So I could print it out there or um, I can wait till Monday. Right? But yeah, 
That was a really good suggestion, and I'm really grateful for it. Let's see, and listen. Wow, okay, so I've been socializing a lot, which means I haven't been picking up the camera. I mean, it's good, but I'm also not keeping track of things. So, I'm still in Bellingham right now. Tomorrow, I'm heading to Everett. I've spent a week here, and it has been amazing. Um, the people are incredibly generous and kind. Whatcom Falls is amazing. I spent time there. Today's the first day I came down to the beach and I'm not in shade, but it's a nice cool day. There's a breeze. It's a little overcast. So Nugget's good. She's all chill. Um, I got some really awesome colors. You saw that. <sighs> right? The sailboats and then that reflection in the mud. Gorgeous. Just see the tide came in and I definitely think this morning was the sweet spot right like there was a local guy who works here he stopped dropped what he was doing and pulled out his camera and took a reel right so I was like Ooh, what is he shooting because I was in here taking care of nugget and doing a couple things before I went outside and the light had changed so dramatically um Yeah, and it was just wild, as you could see. So I think I got the best this morning. Yeah, well, where are you going? All right, so this is Bob. Bob Dog. It's Bob Dog. Hello. Isn't he the cutest? Hello. Bob. Give me a big smile, Goof. What you looking at? Look at me. No. Okay. This is honey. Honey bum. Honey bum. Honey bum. Oh, you can see hi. You can see hi. She's the cutest. There goes Bob Dog. Bob Dog. And that's Buddy over there. We've been hanging out. Her friend Daniel brought them by, so we gotta say goodbye because they leave tomorrow. They're so cute. Look at, it. Look at that face. Look at that. She's just oh. sitting on my skirt. She's like, you're not going anywhere. Where's Buddy going? She's the cutest. She took ownership of me. And then that's Jaguar and Bonnie. Just to sit in the van, like, kind of checked off that I'm hanging out with the dogs. She gives me a hard time. She's gonna have to deal. These guys are too cute. Bob! It's a Bob dog. What's a Bob dog doing? You gonna come say hi? Come here, Bob. Come say hi. Come say hi. Yeah, there's the big smile. There's the big smile. <laughs> she is. Like, Jaguar is always trying to say hi. And she's like, she's not gonna have any. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. A very special thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Without you, I wouldn't have a regular monthly support, and I truly appreciate it. If you'd like to become one, you can check out the link below in the description. If you like today's video, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you consider doing so. And hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I put out a video. Also, special thank you to all of my one-time contributors on and through PayPal. There's a link below in the description. See you all next time. Bye-bye.